Good morning guys, what's going on? Hope you guys are having a great day today. So today I want to make a quick uh, and short video showing you guys uh, how to do an RG45 connector on to a ethernet cable. And um, just pretty much show you guys what this is, what it's used for, and how to, uh, pretty much the basics, you know, just crimp a wire, test it, and uh, make sure you have a good connection. So, um, just remember, I'm not an expert, but I'll teach you what I know. So, let's get to it. Alright guys, so like I said, uh, here are the RJ45 connectors. And this is pretty much um, your Ethernet connection. It's a 8-pin uh, connector, as y'all can see right there. And uh, the connector we're going to be using today is uh, an easy or pass-through RJ45 connector. So, um... This connector is uh, very easy to use, and I think it's uh, more efficient and faster to get done, and you get a 100% crimp on it, meaning that you are most likely not going to be getting these uh, wires uh, mixed up or wrong. Um, but yeah, guys, uh, let me show you guys right quick. So, uh, I got some connectors in here so this is another pass through and um just so you guys know um i will be uh posting a little picture right quick uh of uh, the code that usually has been used uh to terminate these connectors here in the united states so um one of the methods well there is two methods of how to terminate these wires uh the termination color code right which is going to be either a or b it's called uh, T568A or T568B. Uh, just a quick uh, code thing. Um, B is the most common uh, termination here used in the United States. And um, A is uh, used a lot in uh, government facilities and uh, or in a lot of uh, federal uh contracts that we sometimes use and um, also it's a um, termination that is a uh, used a lot in uh, Europe but uh, here in the United States we uh, use uh, termination B okay so that's what I'm gonna be pretty much uh, demonstrating to y'all right now all right guys so we're gonna go ahead and grab a this is just an example I will one day demonstrate this in the field but um there is a tool to strip this uh jacket off but i've been doing this for a while that i just uh just need to use my uh, snips to do this and um i mean you don't really need that other tool but just be careful whenever you're using these so a lot of people like to do either uh, one inch two inch i regularly just do whatever is comfortable for me or depend on the, where i'm terminating this connection at so let's go ahead and just go around uh two inches there and like I said, I just carefully score around this jacket here. And then once you move it around, it will just uh, easily break off. So y'all can see that uh, the wires are perfectly fine. Put this down. Take this jacket off. And um, here is going to be your four pair conductor for your Ethernet cable. This is a Cat6, I believe and uh, we'll cut this little end right here so uh i'm not going to get into details with uh what's cat six five seven eight all that good stuff this is just uh your regular uh four pair and i'll show you guys just how to do an rg45 connection so this is your orange pair blue pair brown pair and green pair right that looks like purple but it's blue um so yeah, just uh, a lot of people like to untwist these with their uh, screwdriver. Uh, a lot of people don't recommend doing that, but uh, you go ahead and do it however you want to do it. As long as you do not damage the wires, that's the most important part. So first of all, we're going to go ahead and untwist these cables and give them a little stretch so they uh, stay straight. But yeah, first of all, you're going to go ahead and untwist. All these wires once you get your wires and twisted and nice and straight to a point guys 
um, uh, just go ahead. We're gonna go ahead and do the um, color code that I told you, which is a uh, B, right? So that one goes like this. So it's white, orange, 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 white, green. And all you gotta do is just someone move it this way. White, green, blue, white, blue, green, white, brown, brown. And you guys, I don't know if you guys can tell, but I'm like squeezing them with this thumb right here. And I'll put them all together. Somewhat stretch them all. That's pretty much your color code right there. Termination B. White, orange, orange, white, green, blue, white, blue, green, white, brown, white, brown, brown. Okay. So once you have them like this, guys, you guys can go ahead and uh, grab your cutters and cut them right here. Yes, trash went all over the place, but I'm just teaching you guys how to do it in RJ45 connector. Um, usually keep a bucket with me and uh, throw all that in a trash can. So you're going to grab your connector like this, pins facing up, and you're going to be able, you're going to go ahead and push your wires in here and guide them through their respective uh, side where they belong whenever what I was saying whenever uh, you push them in here you go ahead and verify your color code again which is not about nice about these connectors because you push them out and then you are able to see if you uh, have the code correct in here so you got white orange orange white green blue white blue green white brown brown and you're gonna go ahead and push this all the way through and uh, um, where this mark is at, you're gonna that's where you're gonna be pushing your jacket to. Because that's going to be where this crimper is gonna come in place and crimp that into the jacket, that way the cables won't come out. Okay, so you're gonna push this through here. Like so. And like I said, cables come out through the other side and then this blade is gonna cut them. Right, so by putting pressure on this side, you will close this and crimp it right quick. And these cables are gonna be getting cut. And that is your RJ45 connection on this wire. All right guys, so I went ahead and uh, terminated the other end and uh, just uh, showed y'all how to terminate one of the ends uh but yeah once you have uh both of your ends terminated let's uh let's think that this one is running back to your mdf or idf where you're gonna have uh either connected a stretch of the switch or terminated into the patch panel which uh wouldn't be uh, an arch 45 it would be terminated into a patch panel or a uh, uh one of those uh jacks uh, depending on what brand you're using uh, but yeah so let's just go ahead and play with this right quick so now that you have terminated both of your terminations on the B you're gonna go we're gonna go ahead and test this right so assume one of them goes to the uh, MDF IDF and the other one to the camera so you go ahead and grab this tester and you give this to your partner he takes it to one of the end ends of uh, the uh, cable plugs this in and then on the other end you're gonna go ahead and grab it doesn't matter what end you put this on all this is going to do is send a signal through the eight pair wire here so go ahead and come back through that them some pairs and just uh show us if it, if the wire is good if it passed or not passed failed what uh, wires are wrong and uh, what pairs could be twisted or ground faults and stuff like that. So we're going to go ahead and turn this on. And uh, it's already letting us know that this wire has passed. So just showing you an example right quick. If this was not connected on this end, it would show fail. So fail on all the wires, right? Now, if um, there was a... And I'm just going to go ahead and mess this cable up in the middle. And let's for say an example, whenever um, the technicians were running this cable, 
um, they uh, ended up uh, let me go ahead and unplug this right quick that way we make sure we don't damage the device and uh, whenever they were pulling the wire they scored it somewhere along the road and they pinched a few wires in here for example and it was messed up the cable will not pass and you hit test and it's going to let you know what wires are the ones that are damaged and it's going to say fail open these wires here are open and they're not creating a connection uh they're not sending the signal back so yeah guys that's how you pretty much uh do a uh rj45 termination hope you guys uh, learned something and uh don't remember to uh like and subscribe and uh we'll see you later Peace.